first of all, congratulations on your award program. You know, it's very well deserved. Uh, but how are you enjoying your, your football Rangers? Obviously, you've signed that new contract, um, which is also a testament to to the belief in you. But how are you enjoying your, your football? Yeah, um, I absolutely love playing football here. Um, I think the facilities we have, the staff, um, like my teammates, I, I think the I should give them all credit to help me become the player that I've like worked hard to become lately and obviously worked hard to try and get a new contract. I think that obviously playing alongside some of the best players in the country really helps me grow as a person and then I think that it's great the, the belief that not just our staff but the club as a whole has and the women's team and the investment and how much they're trying to help us grow is, is going to help me but not just me, it's going to help the whole club um, youth players, people growing up who inspire to be in the first team, it's something like they can work towards. It's a dream that now like looks achievable. There's no denying that obviously you're a huge kind of key player in the team. Um, I don't think I've ever seen somebody kind of run so fast in a pitch in all my life. I'm yet to see it. But um, does that kind of give you that wee extra boost of confidence going into a game, knowing that you could very well be the, the difference maker? Um, yeah, just, I, I just go into every game with um, the same mindset. I, I want to make as much of an impact um, on the team as I can. Just want to try and like work hard every time I come on and try and kind of earn a spot that I can try and keep. And I know like it's obviously a very competitive environment. It helps a lot at training because at the end of the day, we all want the same goal and we work hard for not just ourselves, but for each other. So I think like coming on to any game, you, you just want to do your best for like not only me but the rest of the team and the club as a whole. So yeah, I just like obviously try and do the best I can each time I come on. Yeah. And just lastly, kind of on the award itself, um, you know how pleased are you that your your impact has you know definitely been you know recognised you know especially by other people in the league and you know people outside the league that have voted for you. You know how pleased must you be with that? Yeah, um, I was obviously delighted to be nominated and yeah, I'm really happy to have like gotten the award. Um, like obviously thank you to everyone who voted and stuff but it's as again I'm just going to say like it's a, a, obviously a credit to the staff and like my teammates and um, they've like gave me such confidence with their belief in me and it just obviously the confidence helps me like grow as a player and it helps me perform to my best on the pitch because I know that my teammates really believe in me and it helps like the team spirit as a whole we all believe in each other and we just want the best for each other so yeah, I was delighted to get the award and really happy with it. Uh, Brogan, first and foremost, well done. Thank um, you. I don't just what Courtney's just saying just there. Um, you talked about relationships there and your teammates and, and whatnot. How much have you enjoyed playing with Rachel since she's come in? Yeah, um, I have really enjoyed playing with Rachel. I, I think she's a great player and she's a great person. And one thing that really helps me with Rachel is she, she's very vocal on the pitch. Like, she, she gives me instruction. She really helps, like, if... Like maybe I'm maybe out of position defensively, which is something I'm trying to work on myself and trying to grow that part of my game. Like it's good to have someone behind me who's like speaks to you a lot and helps you. And I also think like she's really good at going forward. I think we we link up quite well on the right side together. Um, regarding the time you've been at Rangers, obviously you've just signed a new contract, but you've been there probably longer than sort of some players that are there currently. How far on does the club feel like it's came? Or that's a wrong. How far has the club came on since like this season in comparison to maybe in the past? Yeah, the, the difference is huge. Um, like just aspects of like we always had like good facilities, but now we get to make use of them every day, and it's good to have like everyone at training. The numbers are really good, which means we can work on like specific things because we've got a lot of numbers at training. The difference is is huge and the amount of staff we have now to what we maybe had a few years ago when I was here. But I think like as a person being at the club for that length of time, it, it's more evident to see how far the club has came and like how much it is, is grown in the past few years. And I do only think it will get better. Like I think the support that we get from not just our staff, but the staff around like the training centre and the club as a whole was really good, yeah. Talking about, um, Matty always mentions starters and finishers. And you've maybe gone from the start of the season as maybe been a finisher to a, a guaranteed starter pretty much because of your form. But what do you put that down to? Why do you think your form has improved so much and so rapidly over the past sort of couple of months? Um, I think it's maybe a combination between like the hard work and competitive environment and training. Everyone's like fighting for that starting position. But we also know how important it is to come on in a game and 
just like try and make as much of an impact as possible because you know you can come on you can change a game and you can just change the whole dimension of the game and um, so I think everyone in the team knows it's the people who come on in the game are just as important as the people who start like we're all just one big team and we know that I think one of the biggest things for the people coming on is that we all have just as much belief in the players who come on as we do as the ones that start and it really helps everyone's confidence so I think like hard work and confidence in each other is probably the biggest thing for the, both the players who start and the ones who come on in the game. And last but not least, I think Alan sort of touched on it before with, with Kevin possibly, but you've played obviously the youth levels and came up through the ranks with Scotland. Based on the form you've put in, obviously there's a few Rangers players that are currently in the Scotland squad. Is that your ambition, just to continue the form and maybe get catch the eye of the, the next Scotland coach? Yeah, well, um, coming like through the youth ranks at Scotland, it was obviously it's always like a dream to try and get to that like top level and play in the A squad, and it's still like an ambition of mine to try and get there. And I just hope like with the recent like games at Rangers and stuff that if I keep working hard, I can try and like earn a, at least a chance to try and get there because it's obviously something I've always dreamed of.